Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This week we have another test. Cynthia has prepared a test that takes us all the way from A1 up to C2. C2. Wow. Okay. However, it's a 20 question test. So we're going to do 10 this week and then you have to wait with bated breath <laughs> and we'll do 10 the following week and the next 10 are going to be the hard ones, yeah? Well, yes. So we're going to do from A1 to B something, yeah. B something and then from B to C2 next week. Okay. So, we'll see you on the other side. So if you, you like these test formats, every two weeks we do live, two lives, and where we do things like this, where we do tests, where we talk about uh, grammar and then test people on it. To do that, all you have to do, you can do one of two things. You can join Says Socio, all the information's on the website, or you can join on YouTube as well and, and join uh, Charlemos. Yeah, okay, so the options are there. Vale, Cynthia. Muy bien. Empecemos. Pregunta número uno. Me gustan las corridas de toros. ¿Y a ti? A. A mí sí. B. A mí no. C. A mí tampoco. Vale. Me gusta la corrida de toros. Me gustan. Me gustan las corridas. Ok. Eh, B. A mí no. Correcto. ¿Y por qué...? B, a mí no. Because if somebody's saying a mí sí, that means you've got to have said you don't like them. Yes. So I have to say, well, I do. Or it's not pleasing to you, I, or it's pleasing to me. And to say a mí tampoco, you've got to have said you didn't like them. Exactly. You agree. Agree or to disagree. disagree. <laughs> yeah, agree to disagree. Exactly. Muy bien, muy bien. Mm -hmm. Vale, pregunta número dos. Ayer. Con mis amigos en la casa del pueblo. A. Estuve. B. Estaba. C. Fui. He's looking, but he can't. There's no answer. He no, I'm looking just, just to, to check the so preposition. Just I'm, checking, I'm just looking at the preposition. He doesn't know what the answer would be. Doesn't yeah, show. no. It doesn't no, show. No, it doesn't show. <laughs> so, what you're saying is what I say. So, uh, I would say... Estuve con mis amigos en la casa del pueblo. Mm, vale, ¿y por qué no fui? Because fui ir has a preposition a. Mm -hmm. So it would be fui con mis amigos a la casa del pueblo and that doesn't work. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's en. en. Exactly. Muy bien. And I didn't use estaba just because when you say estaba, I expect more information. This is just a sentence, it's just a fact. Eso yeah. es, muy bien, muy bien. Pregunta número 3. ¿Tienes hora? A. Sí, son las una y cuarto. B. Sí, es la una y cuarto. C. Sí, son la una y cuarto. So the only possible answer is B. Es la una y cuarto. Es la una y cuarto. Muy bien. Because la una is singular, so it's got to be es. You can't say son la una. It doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. In Spanish. Although, I have to say that in, in some countries, sometimes they use the plural. Son, son la, la una. Son la, yeah. I well, mean, it's incorrect, but uh -huh. it's, it's been heard before. Mm -hmm. um, número cuatro. No me gusta esa idea. A. A mí no. B. Yo tampoco. C. A mí tampoco. Vale. Entonces. C. A mí tampoco. A mí tampoco. Mm, ok. Eh, ¿Y por qué no yo tampoco? Because we're, because we're using gustar. So, it's what you're saying is, to me, it's not pleasing. So, to agree, you've got to say, to me, neither. You can't say, me, neither. Yeah, and so that's why you can't say yo tampoco. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, you could say yo no voy al cine, and the person says yo tampoco. 
because you're just saying no way al cine that's not but when you do gustar it's the opposite way around mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. muy bien número 5 mm. hay que hable inglés aquí I had to put some subjunctive with the hable absolutely okay. hay mm, que hable inglés aquí A algún B alguien C algo I'm laughing because I'm looking at the option C and I'm thinking in what world what, what situation could we say is there something that speaks like, like some phone is just there something, something that's just something <laughs> <laughs> so, just give me something <laughs> uh, the answer for me would be B alguien someone muy bien yeah muy bien so okay so algo then definitely not because it's something but what about algún well, it's not finished it's, it's algún what yeah, muy bien. Yeah, and, uh, algún hombre o uh, you know. alguna persona. Alguna persona, mm -hmm. yeah. Muy bien. Número 6. Hola, ¿quién es? A. Somos nosotros. B. Es nosotros. C. Es yo. Very good. When I used to live in Mexico, just learning Spanish, my answer would have been C, sí, es yo. Uh, but obviously it's somos nosotros. Somos nosotros. Es, es nosotros and es yo doesn't work together. They don't go together. Es él, es ella, o somos nosotros. Exacto. Mm -hmm. sí. Yo soy, tú eres, él es, nosotros somos. ¿eh? Exactly. And my message... Although in English... Yeah, in, in English we in can English do it. It's me. It's, it's me. me. Exactly. In my message, my answer message on my phone in Mexico, it was, es yo. <laughs> okay? And it should be, soy yo. Soy yo. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Muy bien. Muy bien. Eh, número siete. ¿Quién el coche hasta aquí? A. Condució. B. Conducían. C. Condujo. So, C. Sí. Condujo. Because it's an irregular, isn't it? It's one of the it's irregular the verbs, families. Ducir, finishing ducir, like uh -huh. traducir, conducir, producir. Mm -hmm. um, they have the dujo. The uj. Duje. Exactly. Uh, duj, yeah, with the, with the J. Muy bien. Uh, perfecto. Vale, pues número 8. Mm -hmm. Yo ir todos los veranos a la playa, pero ahora vamos a la montaña. A. Solía. B. Iba. C. Fui. Ok, so the answer is A. Solía. Yo solía ir. Muy bien. Um, It can't be Iba. Because Iba needs the a preposition because it's ir and there's not one there. And it wouldn't be I I was going to go. Well, the giveaway is that you have a verb in the sentence. Yeah. Yo mm, ir. So you've got a full exactly. verb. So when you have a full verb, then you have to have, if you need a verb, a conjugated verb. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And Iba and fui would both need a after them. And so yeah, it, you it, can't it, have fui, Iba. Fui, because it'll be fui ir. I mean, sorry, fui ir, because it's the same, <laughs> the same verb, yeah? I went to and go. I, you know, the, the problem is, when we do this in English, of course it sounds fine. I went to go, but then I didn't, yeah? So we can say that, but of course it doesn't work oh, in well, Spanish. I went to go. I went to go, yeah. Número nueve. <laughs> ¿Esta casa es de los padres de Marta? A. Sí, es suya. B. Sí, son suyos. C, sí, son suyas. Mm. Ok, nice one. So, E, sí, es suya. Mm. Ok, so, we have two things here to take into account. Casa and los padres de Marta. Exactly. So, what's going on? How do we work this out? With well, you just have to ask possessive. yourself two questions, or three questions, really. First question is... Um, who is the owner of this thing, right? 
that helps you choose which one from uh, mio, mio tuyo, tuyo, suyo. suyo mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's there. So that's suyo. Uh -huh. And then you have to say, what is the thing that we're talking about? Is it masculine or feminine? All right. Well, it's feminine, casa, suya. And is it singular or plural? Singular, suya. So that's it. So it has nothing to do with the owners. That just the person you choose, but the thing, the thing that's being owned is the one that affects the gender and the plurality. Exactly. The, the adjective changes with the thing owned. So in mm -hmm. this case, the thing owned is feminine, casa, hence suya. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Eh, y la última pregunta, pregunta número 10. ¿Le diste a Francisco los papeles? A. Ah, pues no no se lo di. B. Pues no, no le los di. C. Pues no, no se los di. Mm. Okay, so for me it would be C. Pues no, no se los di. So why C but not A? All right, because we're talking about los papeles. Okay. So in C we've got no se los di, mm -hmm. but in A it's no lo, lo di, and no, we're talking about los, yeah? Okay, so we've got los for los papeles, uh -huh. and what about the se? Would it not be le? Well, it is le, it really is le, but you can't le lo in, in, any, in Mexico or any <laughs> Spanish-speaking country, and so you can't say le los, just doesn't, it's not allowed, you get taken away by the, the Spanish police if you nah, say that. Right. La Rai, la Rai. Yeah, and La Guardia Civil. <laughs> and so you have to change the le for se. That's mm -hmm. all. It's, the, it's one of the uses of se, which is the le. Yeah? Exactly. It's an le. Muy bien, Gordon. I think you've, you've passed. It looks like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, we're up to 10. Yes. And it goes up to 20. And so we're only midway. Yeah, so this it, is midway. So it's obviously going to get a lot harder. <laughs> Okay, so hang on to your hats, and I will too, because I've got to answer them. I'm, I'm doing this cold, by the way, you know, there's no... Have you taught me any of the answers? No, no, no. So it's it cold, does, it does all right? Enough. Up to now, we're in the images. I'm comfortable. <laughs> I'm comfortable. Next week, we'll see what happens. Well, I think you've passed, and I hope you've passed as well. I'll read the comments, and mm. if you like the content, please hit the like button and subscribe because it's free. Mm -hmm. Y muchas Jordan. gracias Cintia a por uh, preparar la, el test. A ti Gordon. Vale, ahora nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego, adiós. adiós.